I wasn't sure where to begin, but it might as well be at the beginning when you edit me on Facebook again. I reached out after you did just to say hi, but something was different. We started chatting and shortly after I was on the phone with AJ and didn't know where it came from, but said, bro, I think she's the one. He said, bro, that's God. A few days uh, go by and we met up again to go on a boat. And when I hugged you, it just felt right. I didn't know what, but I knew it did. Uh, after hanging out for a month, being I knew you were special, I brought you to PA to meet my parents and Kelly. They fell in love with you. A few weeks later, we went back to my parents, and while we were there, Sean, Josh, Chase, and Aunt Linda surprised us. We celebrated our birthdays. You may have gotten a little cake in your face, <laughs> then changed uh, Chase me to get me back. You played hide and seek with Chase, and I knew you belonged in his family. Sean, Jess, my parents, and everyone said you were special and I needed to marry you. I already knew, so I told them I agreed. Around this time, uh, you were hesitant at first, but we decided it was time for me to meet your parents. So we went to Fuquay and you introduced me. It seemed like as if I already found my future in yours and my future brother-in-law. Not long after, we went through a tough time being you were turned down by CMPD with that accident. But during this time, I learned how I could be there for you, how I will always be there through thick and thin. And shortly after, I lost my job and realized the feeling was mutual. Pumpkin picking was a great day, even though I played a little prank on you. Um, even though you were upset, I really got to see how much you truly cared about me. And that made me understand more that you were the one. It made my mind start thinking of when and how I was going to propose. Well, if uh, it all happened right before you were hanging out of the sunroof, driving over the Thrive's Neck Bridge, it came to me and the planning started. I texted Kelly and she definitely helped work it out. We moved to PA and one day, uh, at work, my dad texted me saying, we just went to the mall and we're looking for rings. So I called him and he said, you found the one. I remember hearing the excitement in his voice because he knew how special you are to me and the rest of the family. They called my mom, then I called my mom and she was so excited, she's gonna be gaining another daughter. Now I'm nervous and trying to make everything perfect. It wasn't, uh, it was Friendsgiving weekend and I was setting up more lights. You were so confused as to why it had to be done. <laughs> but you trusted me. That evening I gave you a speech, well, I gave a speech and you now realize you were going to be a part of my life. You said yes, you were my future bride. Fast forward 10 months and here we are today. We've been through a lot. We've moved multiple times, started new jobs, a business. We're always side by side, supporting each other. Today, I am marrying my best friend, my being, my playmate, my confident, my biggest and most exciting challenge and blessing so far. Most importantly, the love of my life, my forever endeavor. You have made me a better person and our love for it and our love for one another shows. Um, I still can't believe I am the man that gets to marry you. I am so excited that now we are officially Mr. and Mrs. I know you are going to be the most amazing wife and future mother of my children. With your nurturing and caring personality and kind spirit, I am so excited to see you shine in every chapter of our life as we build and grow together. I love you, Alexa Taylor. You are a dream come true. God knew who I needed and he gave me you. P.S. God's got our backs. I don't know how it's there to read <laughs>
It's hard to believe that seven years ago, I walked into a club, saw you as a bouncer, and deemed you as my future husband without knowing you, but it was no surprise to God. After a short time dating, five years apart, and reconnecting in Charlotte, we never again left each other's sides, and here we are today. Our story is so beautiful. I've prayed and dreamt about a man like you my whole life, and God exceeded all of my expectations. I truly have lost hope. Sorry. Take your time. That God would give me my soulmate and look what he did. You're the most generous, loving, and caring man. Your heart is so beautiful and so pure, and you make me want to be better every day. I've never felt so at home as I do with you. You are my home, my best friend, and my everything. I can't promise that life won't bring storms, but I can promise that my love for you is unconditional and everlasting. I will always be here for you to listen to, to hold your hand, to laugh and cry with, and to always see you through anything that comes our way. I promise to always put you first and honor you. I will pray with you, dream with you, and build with you, and I will stand as your protector and always stand up for you and cheer you on. You are my family and the reason that I smile. You have believed in me when I barely believed in myself, and you've given me comfort beyond measure in my toughest of times. Forever will be, never be long enough to love you. Our love will always come first, and I can't imagine where or who I would be without you. I might not always love making decisions, but there is one decision I would make over and over again, and that is to be your wife and spend forever with you. I love you eternally, babe, and I am blessed beyond measure to call you my husband.